Yes. <laughs> if that comes down. trucks so there's nobody here Glenn will be here shortly and uh, Josh is behind him I got to load up a few trucks but I thought I'd show you real quick how I keep track of all these truckers um, it's like a full-time job not really but they can be a little bit of a hassle sometimes but they're usually pretty good the drivers we got now are good we've had a couple in the past that, uh, make you go nuts but anyways I thought I'd show you real quick how we keep track of them. When I started running flails with Mike, when I started running his flail, we had three trucks. We had three trucks running, so it wasn't too hard to keep track of truck drivers, and they all had cell phones. Then when we got this new flail, we started running uh, five trucks to six trucks, and even had seven trucks on us at times. And uh, we had more than that at times with other companies hauling in. But So what we did was we got a... <clears throat> thing put in the trucks and then we got a fleet maddox did it and fleet maddox is just a thing that keeps track of all our trucks shows us where they're all at so that way say like right now if i didn't know where the truckers were at, i didn't know when they would be here or whatever i couldn't work on the chipper at all i, I didn't know where they were so i didn't want to tear into a something that might need fixed or repaired if i if i did if i knew a truck was a couple miles away or a half hour away I don't want to tear into an hour long project, a two hour long project, if there's going to be trucks waiting for me to fix them. So it really helped me out with just maintenance on the chipper and fixing stuff on the chipper because if I know there's no trucks going to be here for an hour, I know I can go ahead and, and do chain or knives or fix this hose that's getting wore out or just, you know, do anything on it that I need to do. So it really helped me out. And uh, so this is the Fleet Maddox thing that we deal with here. And there's me and my lovely bride. She makes me look pretty good. So you click on this and it just shows you where all the drivers are at. Glenn's the closest one to me. He's on, he'll be here shortly. And uh, Josh is behind him and Dan's headed to the mill. And Jimmy is heading back from the, to the mill. He's in Wellston. That's the log truck driver. So if he shows you his pause, that means he's running but he's not doing nothing that means he's loading up logs and that's will's new truck that blue freight liner uh the oil sensor went out of it so it was reading low oil pressure but there wasn't low oil pressure so they hauled it to saginaw put a new oil sensor pressure sensor in it and then it's fine so but he's picking that up this afternoon but if you go over here it'll show you where all the truckers are at and I'm the little blue dot here, and then it shows that that's Garrett right there loading up logs. And then there's two trucks right here. Let's see, uh, that's Glenn, that's Josh, and that's Dan. He's just loaded, headed back out here. So we're hauling. So I, they got to get to me yet. So that's Will's truck that's getting worked on down in Saginaw. But this just shows you where you guys were hauling from. I'm right here in the blue dot, and we're hauling all the way to the other side of the state. Just kind of see where we're hauling from. We're right there. We're over here in Midland County, and then Bay County is right next to over here in the water. And we are hauling all the way over to Manistee, which is right on the water. Actually, we're hauling to Filer City, so they're going to cut in over here, but pretty much Manistee. So them trucks got to go all the way across the state. Michigan and come all the way back to us so that kind of shows you there it helps me out tremendously to know where they're all at and if none of them are broke down we used to have guys in the past that didn't have a cell phone and wouldn't call them if they're telling me they're broke down and we'd sit out here and wait for an hour two hours for them in the afternoon and then no trucks would come back so you'd call them like where you're at well I'm broke down I'm not coming back today and it's like well that's real nice so Anyways, that's kind of how it works and uploads every 30 seconds. You can change it however you want. So, But there's an idea where we're hauling from. We are hauling from here all the way to the other side of the state. So we're almost going completely across the state of Michigan hauling wood. And we used to haul Alpena. It's full right now. But we were hauling from here all the way up to here to Alpena. And uh, 
that's even a longer drive. Well, it's probably the, yeah, it's probably the same about from here. It's a little longer because it's a little harder, harder roads to get down. You're not driving expressway, but that's the Fleet Maddox app we're dealing with. So that's how long we're, we're moving wood, guys, all the way across the state of Michigan from water to water. So it's quite the hike for them truck drivers. They're pretty busy. So yeah, there's two big stops. Um, there's, let's see, you go 10. Cadillac right here is a good stop. They got a McDonald's here on the corner, Burger King. Uh, that's a trucker stop. But then there's a good one right up here. Right here's another one. So, you see that little loop right there? That's a gas station in the middle of that loop. And it's a truck stop. And it's got some warm subs and pizza. And them truckers love to stop there. And there's another stop right here in Wellston too. There's a little restaurant a guy finds really interesting there. So, yeah. They're traveling all the way across the state of Michigan. To, we're traveling all the way across the state of Michigan to haul wood. So, that's kind of an idea of what we're doing how we haul wood so that's what we got going on today that's the Fleet Maddox app that thing works really nice for us and then what's nice too is I don't have it on the phone because I don't need it but the shop guy has on the computer each individual truck and the mileage that's on them and how many miles are drove every day and you can actually see what route they drove where they drove but then what's nice about that is you can uh, what's nice about that is you can keep track of your oil changes and stuff all your mileage and stuff for your oil changes so you can figure all that out real quick and it works really well so that's the Fleet Max app I thought I'd show that to you guys real quick how it works and it works real good and it makes a real difference for me knowing where they're at and where they're not at so thanks for watching guys just want a little light little insight there I guess to what how I keep track of the truck driver <laughs> if that comes down, I won't put it on YouTube for comp purposes. I just say you fell out of a skitter. <laughs> oh, come on, you're up there, you're on the platform. <laughs> Any coons staring at you? after we send it. See out over that swamp. Wouldn't be too bad. One step at a time, one step at a time. You're looking at it with your bad eye. Uh, I don't think that video is going viral. <laughs> <laughs>